Ever wondered about the role of the president in making laws? It's a process steeped in power and responsibility. The president's desk is the final frontier for a bill where it can either evolve into law or be tossed aside. Each decision laden with suspense, potentially steering the nation's direction. The climax of lawmaking is a narrative of high stakes and anticipation. In this video, we'll unravel the high stakes drama of presidential action, shedding light on the pivotal role the president plays in shaping our laws. Once a bill lands on the president's desk, three paths lay before him. He can sign the bill into law, veto it, or do nothing. If he signs it, the bill becomes law. If he vetoes, it's rejected. If he does nothing, the bill becomes law if Congress stays in session for 10 days. If not, it's a pocket veto. Each choice holds profound impact, shaping the destiny of the bill and potentially the nation. A stroke of the pen and the bill transforms into law. This statement illustrates the signing of a bill. The president's signature on a bill not only acknowledges its importance, but also provides the final approval. It is the product of numerous hours of deliberation and compromise. Once signed, the bill becomes enforceable. This action signifies the president's role as the chief executive, tasked with implementing and enforcing laws. It also symbolizes successful collaboration between the legislative and executive branches. It is shared vision and the collective will of the nation. This power, used by presidents throughout history, has enacted significant change. It's more than a signature. It's a testament to cooperation, compromise, and the essence of democracy in action, forever shaping the American landscape. The veto, a blunt instrument, a rejection of Congress's labor. A president's no to a law reflecting a vision different from the Capitol's or a strategic move. Used by presidents like Washington to it, has shaped the nation's course, sparking controversy, but a veto isn't the death of a bill. It's a challenge thrown to Congress, a power that can be overridden. Our forefathers crafted checks and balances to prevent one branch from holding absolute power. So a veto isn't always the end, for our system of checks and balances provides another route. Congress can fight back. A two-thirds majority in both chambers overrides the veto. The House and Senate can the president's decision via a revote. If more than two-thirds vote in favor, the bill becomes a law, despite President's dissent. This act displays the checks and balances in the government. Achieving this triumph requires substantial consensus among lawmakers. This is a rare triumph of legislative will over presidential power. Sometimes, the President chooses inaction, and time itself becomes a player. The President has another tool, the pocket veto. If a bill arrives but Congress adjourns within 10 days, it stays unsigned, it dies. The president's invisible hand guides legislation subtly without apparent intervention. This strategic dance between the branches highlights the complexity of our system. Presidential action is a delicate symphony of choices. A bill on the resolute desk starts a journey of decisions. The president could sign it into law, veto it, or do nothing. Each choice impacts society and shapes history. The dance between the branches of government continues, ever shaping the laws that define our lives.